Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to find out the unknown parameter for the soil sample. So it is a problem related to the soil mechanics. So the problem states that a sample of the moist soil was found to have the following characteristics. The volume for the soil sample is 0.01456 cubic meter. The wet mass of the soil sample is 25.74 kg, the dry mass is dry mass is 22 and the specific gravity of the soil sample is given to us which is 2.69. So we have to find out the density for the soil sample, the dry unit weight, the wide ratio, the porosity and the degree of saturation for the soil sample. So starting with the solution, so the first given parameters of the soil sample are the total volume of the soil which is 0 0.01456 cubic meter the weight mass of the soil sample is also given to us which is 25.74 kilogram the dry mass of the soil sample is 22.10 kilogram the specific gravity of the soil sample is 2.69 now to find out the unknown parameter, the first unknown is the density. So A, the density, it is the moist density and the dry density. The two density of the soil sample. So first to find out the moist density, the density, we know the density from the basic formula, the density is equal to the mass over volume. So if you want to find out the moist density, so moist density will be equal to the wet mass it will be equal to the wet mass dividing by the total volume so wet mass is given to us which is 25.74 kilogram and the total volume is 0 0.01456 cubic meter so by calculating these values I got the moist density of the soil sample equal to the 1767.56 kilogram per cubic meter. This is the moist density of the soil sample. Now to find out the dry using the same formula, so the width to the so the sorry, so the dry mass dividing by the total volume. Now the dry mass of the soil sample is also given to us which is 22.10 kilogram dividing by the total volume 0 0.01456 cubic meter. So we got here our dry density of the soil sample 1517.86 kilogram per cubic meter. So this is the dry density of the soil sample. The second unknown is the dry unit weight of the soil sample so to find out the dry unit weight now the dry unit weight we can find out by this formula dry unit weight is equal to the density of the dry multiplying it with the gravity so we know that the dry density of the soil sample is 1517 1517.86 multiplying it with the gravity which is 9.81 this gravity value is constant so it should be kept in mind that g or the gravity is equal to 9.81 so by multiplying this value we got here dry unit weight equal to the 14890 kilogram sorry it will be equal to the newton per cubic meter because the dry density is in kilogram per cubic meter and the g value is in meter per second square so we got here newton per cubic meter if we convert this in kilonewton we divide this by thousand so we got 14.890 kilonewton per cubic meter so this is the way how to find out the dry unit weight for the soil sample now the next one is to find out the c which is the wide ratio of the soil sample wide ratio so to find out the wide ratio we have to use this equation c wide ratio the gamma dry 
is equal to the specific gravity into the gamma w into 1 plus e. Now the dry unit weight is known to us. The specific gravity of the solid is given to us. The gamma w, the unit weight of the water is also known to us which is 9.81 and e is unknown to us. So in this equation we can find out our e by putting all these values to gamma dry we found out here that it is gamma dry is here is 14.89 so 14.890 equal to the gs gs is known to us which is 2.69 gamma w is a constant value which should be kept in mind it is equal to the 9.81 and this is in unit of kilonewton per cubic meter this is the unit weight of the water in the unit of kilonewton per cubic meter. And you should remember this value by heart. This is the denominator value is 1 plus E. Now here we all know these values so we can easily find out the E value which comes out to be 0 0.772. So this is our wide ratio now to find out the D which is the porosity here. To find out the porosity, porosity is equal to the n equal to the e divided by 1 plus e and just putting the values we got here n comes out to be 0 0.43. So after this the last one is the degree of saturation for the salt sample. So to find out the degree of saturation we know that we can easily find out by this formula the degree of saturation is equal to the S multiplying it with the E, Y ratio is equal to the G S specific gravity into the water content. But here in this formula, we have two unknowns. One is the degree of saturation we, which we want to find and the other unknown is the water content. So first of all, we have to find out the water content in, for this salt sample. So to find out this one, water content, so we can use this equation that the moist density is equal to the dry density into 1 plus W. So we know that the moist density and the dry density we find out for our soil sample here. This is the moist, this is the dry density and this is the moist density. So we'll put these two values in our equation. So the moist density is equal to the 1767 equal to the 1517. This is the dry density into 1 plus W which is the water content. Now by simplifying this equation, we get here water content equal to 0 0.1645 or we can see multiplying it with the 100, we got 16.45 percentage. So this is our water content. Now we can put this value here in this formula. We can find out our degree of saturation. So degree of saturation will be equal to the S. S multiply E equal to the specific gravity into water content. So dividing this E here in the right side, S becomes equal to the G S into W into divided by E. So this degree of saturation comes out to be specific gravity is 2.69 for our size simple. W, we know that 16.45 percentage or 0 0.16 here, 45, dividing by E is also known to us which is 0 0.772. So S comes out to be 0 0.573. I'm multiplying it with the 100, so we'll get in percentage, the degree of saturation, 57.3 percentage. So this is the degree of saturation for our soil sample. So hope you guys understand how to find out this unknown parameter of the soil sample if we are given with some of the known parameters for the soil sample. Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering video. Thank you for watching our video.